video focuses on how to add a sales tax item in QuickBooks 2013. Sales tax items are useful for adding sales tax to invoices and other documents, and you may have multiple tax rates depending on how your operations function and where you're located. Now at times your screen may look a little different. This is likely due to you being in a different version of QuickBooks, or you may have set your file up a little bit differently initially. However, you should have many of the same screens throughout, and the same general rules will all apply. And so the first thing we'll do is click on Items and Services. It brings up our full item list, as you can see here, to add a new item. We will come down to the item box and click New. Now we need to decide which type of item we are going to add. For this video, we're going to add a sales tax item. So it changes the dialog box here. We need to name our tax. And this can be based on the city that it's in or county, state, whatever it may be. Um, for this city, we'll just name it Sample City. For the description, we'll just put sales tax. For the tax rate, we'll put the tax rate in the city where this sales tax item is actionable. And then we will choose who we are paying it to. So as you can see, there's a list of all of your vendors here. If your vendor isn't already in there, you can add new. We'll type in sample tax agency. This is who we're paying the tax to. We'll put a zero balance in as of 1 1 12. And then company name, we'll put sample tax agency. And we'll hit OK. Now that it brings back that dialog box, once everything is, is correct and you're satisfied, you click OK. And as you can see, it adds our new sales tax item into our items list. So we'll exit out of this list and let's test it out. So we're going to create an invoice. Okay, so when the invoice screen comes up, we will pick the customer who we're invoicing. And this will pop up and say that there's available sales orders. We're not worried about that right now. We just want to make sure the tax will work. So we come down here and we will add an item to the invoice. So let's add a DVD player. As you can see, it comes up as being taxable. And there's various tax rates here that we can choose. We can choose our sample city. And it brings up the correct rate, 8.875%, which we put in, calculates the tax for us, and the total amount due with tax. So if you have multiple tax agencies or multiple tax brackets, cities, things like that, you can put all of those in, and they go into a nice drop-down box where you can select the one that applies to this customer, figure out what the exact total is. You can print the invoice, or you can just simply put it in for your QuickBooks purposes.